Hey guys, this video is going to teach you how to tie a tournament tie snelled single double hook rig that uh, comes standard with all the Tommy flies. Um, we tie our own, we get our flies in bulk, we get the four pack, hat and pack, and tie our own tournament ties. So I'm going to go over how to do it. It's pretty simple. I've had guys ask and have them show me how to do it, and I just figured I'd uh, do a video here quick to show you how to do it. I'm going to use some bright, um, this is just Dacron bright color just so you can see what I'm doing here make it a little easier to follow along and then I'll tie one up on a floor to show you how it's done so I start with my treble just a quick uh, trilene knot here right. so once I have that done I measure out how much line I have because I'm going to cut this now. So this is just tied off your treble. So I'm going to measure this out. Um, I usually tie mine or cut mine at about 40 inches, 36, 40 inches, depending on how long you want your fly to be. Um, if you want to run a long fly, obviously you want more leader. <clears throat> so once I have the treble tied on, I put on my beads. This might be a little tougher than I thought. Oh yeah. All right, for the sake of argument, let's just pretend this is our three beads, two chartreuse and a... So, that's gonna be about how long my beads would be, obviously. Right, it equals the length of the beads. So once I'd have my beads on there, above my treble hook, I'm gonna slide my single on. So what I like to do, get that treble, eye that treble right on the bend of that single hook. Now I'm going to take this line, wrap it around one, twice, three times, four times, five times. You're going to make a loop. This is why you need this end cut off. You're going to feed that back through that eye. back through that eye. Now you're gonna take, hold that together so your loops don't come off. You're gonna take the, this is a loop going through the eye, this one here. You're gonna take the underneath one, fold it over, the whole rig once, the whole rig twice. You're gonna pull that, as you can see, the hook is still there, you have a nice snow. And that's how I tie my tournament tie rigs. Um, one of the reasons I don't like snelling the back hook on is when that fish has that hook in his mouth, his teeth are rubbing right across that part of the shank. If that's where your snell is, it takes one of these loops to break and that snell is no good. That's where you lose your treble hooks a lot. Where with that not being on the front, it can move in his mouth, gets between the teeth, doesn't get chewed off as much. Now let's show you how it's done with fluorocarbon. All right, so now we got our fluorocarbon, 50 pound, Seaguar, Suffix, my two favorites. Five wraps. Pull that tight. Now that we got that cut off, slide my beads on. I'm a big fan of chartreuse beads. Two chartreuse, two chartreuse of green, maybe two greens. Um, a lot of different color combinations. You can use any color bead you want. I just love these chartreuse beads. They've always done well for me in the past. I'm going to stick with what works. So now we're feeding on our single hook. Um, the hooks we're using today, um, BMC Stark Point 
74, 75, 4X for your treble, and a Gamagatsu 5 aught, um, uh, 5 aught uh, green octopus hook. I like that little bigger 5, just that when it sticks them, it goes in, it normally stays in. And there's our tournament tie and then the last piece to the puzzle a little piece of tubing and slide that right down the old atomic glass rattle I'm gonna wet that slide that right in and you cut that tubing long enough and as you can see it'll protect that knot like we talked about and there she is you slide an atomic fly over that rig and you're ready to catch some kings. So now that we have our harness tied, we're going to take our trusty atomic fly. We're going to slide that up from the underside, which the underside to me is the threads are covered. So you don't have anything exposed but that little nub of the head. That's why we're going to rig this. So now there's your fly. That harness is hidden. And then to terminate this end, we're just going to take that leader, flip it over, and tie an overhand knot. One single overhand will get the job done. And we're ready to fish it. Now before I make my knot, I'm going to stretch this rig out on a roller and fold that line over at the point of the knot the distance I want. I measure my heads or my flies from the head of the fly here from the head to the bend in the loop and I want them to be anywhere from as short as 18 to as long as 32 inches my my hot zone let's say 22 to 24 for uh, fin style flashers like a stinger flasher um, that's an 8 inch uh, stinger flasher 22 to 24 inches is my go to length Puts a lot of fish in the boat and that's trolling at about 2 to 2.2, two, 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 4 on a fish hawk down speed. And uh, give it a shot, guys. Hopefully, uh, this can help you get re rigged faster and quicker when you're on the water and you bust your hot rig. You can uh, line it up and get it all tied up quick, get back in the water fishing. Now that we have our loop tied, we're going to add our flasher. Going to run that K41 fly behind a stinger. Cat and Valium, and this rig is going to help us put some kings in the boat this year. Told you chartreuse and green were my favorite color combos for my beads and my harnesses.